Welcome to the channel. Uh, I promised, I think it was a video or two ago, anyway, or talked about the fact that I was going to get one of these uh, DeWalt chainsaws, one of the electric ones, and give you a review on it, or at least tell you what I thought about it. I picked it up on coupon at Wilco, which uh, for non-local folks is one of our farm stores. They had it on special for a hundred bucks, just the saw, not the battery. I felt like I couldn't pass that up. If you go onto YouTube, of course, there's a lot of reviews on this uh, DeWalt saw. This is the one with the 12 inch blade on it and it comes with an Oregon uh, chain. So I've used it on a couple different projects, uh, neither of which I filmed. Uh, the first one was uh, trees down at the pond. I'm actually going to take it down there uh, after we talk about this a little bit and show you kind of what I've been doing and also what it has been doing. And then the second project I used it on was a pile of cedar limbs uh, all the way up to six inch or so that are at my neighbor's property. And I have a little chunk of her corner of her property and we kind of went in on having the cedar guys come in and limb. And so I had a pile of limbs down in her yard, long story short. And so I went down there to move those limbs onto her burn pile and chop them up into burnable sizes. Didn't film that either. Uh, it was pretty basic and it was one of those uh, hour before sunset kind of deals where I just went ahead and went after it. I just took uh, this down there with me and uh, a single battery. I ended up getting these um, 20 volt 5AH XR. I don't know the variety of all the batteries they have. I think there's like three different ones that'll run in this machine. Don't quote me on that. I think this one's the middle one. But anyway, I was down there. It was a brush pile. It's probably six feet high probably 12 feet in diameter. And I basically chopped on it and moved the whole pile uh, with this saw. I mean, I don't know how many cuts I did, but like I said, most of them were just limbs. I can tell you what I liked about that. <clears throat> I like the fact that this saw is light. It is super light. I mean, you can not recommend it obviously, but you can operate it with one hand um, you can move it around it fits. I can throw it onto the floor of the tractor pretty easily. Uh, it's just small and convenient and light. Uh, didn't beat me up too bad swinging it around down there doing the branches. So that I liked about it. The battery lasted quite a while. The batteries, uh, if you haven't seen already, do have the indicator lights on them. So they tell you when they're getting low. Yeah. Okay, so there there are a lot of reviews online about this saw and similar saws. I think Project Farm does a comparison with the DeWalt and some others. And I think he uses a gas steel saw in comparison to the electric saw. And I think those all those types of comparisons are super helpful as far as trying to make a decision if you want to drop a hundred bucks or more on this saw. I would definitely say, which I haven't heard in most of the videos I've watched on this saw, I would definitely say this is a light duty saw. And what I mean by that is if you're heading out in your, <clears throat> in your ATV or you just want to have something on your tractor and you don't want to commit to a big saw just in case kind of thing, uh, perfect for emergencies to cut up a few limbs. I had a couple long pieces out at the wood pile, like two or three little pieces that needed two or three cuts. It was perfect for grabbing that. Uh, this is not a work in the yard kind of saw like long-term. The battery will last, but it's, it's definitely more labor intensive than using a gas saw in my opinion. It's slower and um, it just takes longer to get through the wood. The cool thing about it when you're working on a branch pile like I was working on the other day is that I don't have to start the steel every time I find a branch that's too long to move or um, <clears throat> try to get the steel to start, get it started, cut a couple branches, set it down, turn it, up, turn it off, set it down, and then a few minutes later have to start it up again. That's, that's where this comes in super handy because you just set it down. 
and you pick it up and within a second or two, it's cutting again. Not cutting fast, not cutting strong, but cutting. So in that respect, I think it's good. It's definitely good for like the homeowner with not a lot of property or just somebody that occasionally limbs. But as far as like duty, I would, I would not say this is any sort of mid-range or heavy duty. So I would say it's light duty at best. I can tell you that one of the major deciding factors for me, there were two other than the price, of course, which a hundred bucks is a, a steal for getting anything that you can do any sort of chainsaw work with, but was the batteries. Okay. So I have a whole series of DeWalt tools that I use DeWalt batteries for. And although I didn't buy the kit or I didn't buy the saw with batteries, I bought the two battery with bag kit, which was also on coupon for a hundred bucks. So for hundred, for 200 bucks, I got the saw and two batteries and a charger and a bag. And that was really a deciding factor for me because I have DeWalt products and equipment that I can run off of this battery. Had that not been the case, I probably would have went for the steel unit. The other thing is that I've been watching, I can't remember the channel, I feel really bad about it, but I watched another YouTube where a fella talked about these battery adapters. So I have a ton of DeWalt tools that take the old style DeWalt uh, battery like this, kind of looks like this. And the cool thing about this, I think it was 11 bucks on Amazon, is that the new style of battery fits into this adapter. Now I can run all of my old school DeWalt tools with these new batteries. And most of my old DeWalt tools are 18 volt. This is a 20 volt battery. It works really well with it. So those are the deciding factors. The fact that I could use all my old school DeWalt where the batteries have just gone to crap with this adapter, plus I could use the saw. That was a deciding factor. So for me, that's why I went with it. And I'm gonna give you a couple demos and show you what I like about it out on the so A couple other little things you might find helpful on this uh, DeWalt chainsaw is it does have a reservoir window for the chain oil. So you can see uh, where that's at uh, when you're uh, using it. It uh, obviously has a safety switch. It's not a bad spot. The handle's fairly comfortable. It's kind of a hard plastic. Uh, the battery is right on the back, so it gives it, I think, fairly good balance. It's a little bit heavy in the back, but not too bad. Or on this side, uh, basically it's uh, operation without tools. So if you get out in the field and you need to deal with something, if it's not too serious, you can basically just handle it uh, by hand. You have your chain tightener here, which is basically just a turn plus and minus indicators. And then this just uh, flips up and opens for uh, cleaning this out. And as is mentioned in other videos, uh, after I used it, it does put a lot of oil in here. And so this gets pretty gummed up and pretty full of debris fairly quickly. Still works, but um, I noticed quite a bit of oil in there. And so it does not do it sparingly. You can check the battery indicator uh, while the battery's plugged in. Uh, not a huge deal either way, but um, I think that's kind of handy. And then it does have the, the brake goes forward it won't it's not going to operate so there you all go. right so i had one thing pop up kind of windy out here hopefully you can hear me but uh had one thing popped up it's a perfect example of how this dewalt comes in handy now uh, we're out in the chicken coop and i just got word that somebody's got four layers that they don't want anymore so i'm going to set up a temporary uh, housing area for them to get acclimated so i have a chicken tractor in the back here i'm going to put a nesting box in it and i'm going to put a tarp over it perfect example is uh just need to cut a couple little pieces off of this per perch that i made in the run and rather than trying to run extension cord or do kind of all kinds of different other things 
perfect for this application. The other thing I like about this is uh, you don't have to worry as much about all of the safety equipment because you're simply not going to get, you know, the flying debris. Not saying you shouldn't wear safety equipment. I'm just saying that, you know, it's a lot less uh, RPMs and all that good stuff going on. So here we go. Give you a couple cutting examples. It's also a lot quieter. Now, to be fair, this isn't a brand new blade. Like I told you earlier, I ran this through a brush pile, so I probably did uh, experience some uh, dirt and other things on it. So it's not brand new, but super handy for this type of work. Just quick and easy, down and dirty uh, projects like this. All right, so hopefully you can hear me and uh, see what's happening with regard to you using this walt chainsaw but i've been trying to wait for the weather to break so i could do a little demo down here by the pond and kind of show you what i've been up to but i don't think the weather's gonna break this keeps blowing more and raining more so we'll do a few cuts on this thing so you can see what it's like like i said there's lots and lots of videos out there about it i'm just gonna kind of tell you my experience so i've been taking these smaller trees out I'm trying to clear out the view of the pond from the house and a slow process but we're getting to it there we go these smaller trees that have been sprouting up all around the pond and trying to clear out the area. My next project is to go down and take some of the brush out of the pond. I'm going to be winching it out, so that'll probably be another video. The tree that you see laying down there in the water right now is one that I did take out with the DeWalt, and uh, like I said, it's it works well for this smaller stuff and for small little projects. And so I'd recommend it for that. If you're gonna be doing some serious cutting though, you're gonna need something with a little more oomph. Uh, over here, I did uh, do some, a little bit of trimming over across the spring that runs through here uh, with the saw. And it's nice, because you can just, you know, tote it over there, it's pretty light. Uh, you can see down here, I'm kind of uh, planning on another project which will be a bridge across here. If you watched a long time ago when I did a property tour, I took a face plant uh, jumping across this little spring that uh, feeds the pond. And so right now I'm just kind of doing some planning about how this is gonna lay out. But that's for another time. Anyway, I appreciate you stopping by, checking out the DeWalt review. Hopefully it was helpful. And we will talk to you soon.